shot at the magazine. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, it is. That is great. And I appreciate what you're doing, but your copy, it's unimpressive. A lot of typing, not much writing. Eric Kernan needed something big to put his life back on track. I forget your pieces while I'm reading. I know you can do a lot better. But what he found oh, was more than he could have hoped for. Oh man, are you okay? It's fun to beat the champ. You say you're the champ? What are you talking about? Battling Bob Satterfield. Number three in the world. Well, there's this boxer. He's living on the streets. Boom! No, I ain't no bum. I I'm just homeless. What's his name? Satterfield. I'm sure my dad used to idolize that guy. I never dreamed though I'd be heavyweight champ. I always thought that I would win it. You fought the mother. You fought Patterson. This article is my title shot. All right, son. You ask your questions. I answer. Nice piece on this guy. Kernan. You are on your way to a Pulitzer, Eric. I Eric Kernan. Oh. You're pretty proud of me. Real proud. See, your dad, he ain't perfect. And one day, he's gonna get his shot. This is Eric Kernan. You write that article. Now, the story he just told is nothing compared to the one. I just saw him last night. He's about to live. Are you sure about that? And in this corner, when the ring I did also find this. Where'd you get this? 185 pounds. That's the man you interviewed. You keep a secret, boy. Can you? From Chicago, Illinois. There's going to be an internal review. We're going to want to talk to your wife. You let me down, and you let everyone else who works on this paper down. A very good man. And a good father. I'm responsible. There's no going back. <laughs> One day, God willing, your son does for you what you just done for me. A writer, like a boxer, must stand alone. The truth is revealed, and there's nowhere to hide.